Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for a look through uh, White War for October, which has a nice gene stealer on the front. Oh yes. Magus. I must get a free comic issue <gasps> zero, which is... Will of Iron. You, you've already opened it. Will of Iron. Oh. So that's... Finish up with that. I don't know what you guys are thinking of the new format White Dwarf. We really enjoyed the first first issue of it. We certainly did. We'll come back at the end. So we have the usual editorial at the beginning. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, welcome to a new era. So there we go. Some cool Contents. pictures on the index already. This Ooh. looks awesome. Oh, um, on parade, isn't it? Oh, on parade. Yeah. Of course it is. Nice. Nice. Ooh, and we have some that's interesting. Stormcast down there. Mm. Yeah. Planet Warhammer. Planet Warhammer, the latest about War Games Workshop. The evil that lies within. So this is all about the New Steel Cults, which you will see coming up on our channel this mm -hmm. weekend. Uh, you may have already seen on the web already, because the codex has been out for a while, but we're doing the codex tomorrow. Yeah. If you're watching this tonight, that is. <laughs> Otherwise it'll already be up there. Um we're doing the uh, unboxings of the models as well and the mm -hmm. building of the models like we normally do. Yeah. Uh, we've got the acolytes and the neophytes. Yeah. So let's carry on. There we go. So we've got the brood coven coming out. So this is the three leaders and the two familiars from uh, the overkill box overkill, up. Overkill, yeah. yeah. So that's coming out next week, I believe. We've got the new Goliath. Yep, we've got the Goliath truck, which is a rock grinder or a normal Goliath truck. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> it does look awesome. Mm. It's got three variants in that weapon as well. Really? Which you'll see if you watch our codex video. Mm. We have pictures we have of the Aqua hybrids. Near for hybrids. Mm -hmm. Which is the ones we're doing tomorrow. And we have the cult icon ward, which is what's coming out next week. Uh, we want to get hold of one of them if we can. Is that just a model on its own then? It's a single model uh, with a massive standard, you can see on there. Cool. And then we also have some um, old kits with some add-ons. So I think there's basically a sprue with Gene Steeler heads and icons on. A lot like the Death Watch one really. Ah, oh, right, okay. Um, but we have the Imperial Guard sprue with heavy weapon. We have um, Shamira with squad. And we have the Lehman Ross as well. So those are going to be three new kits. That's £35 just looking at it. Yeah. That's not bad actually for mm. the tank and all the guys that you And they're get. 25 and you get the heavy weapon with it. So And the gene stealer components. Yeah. And there's enough heads for them all. And that's £32.50. I think, uh, I don't know whether, I don't know how much a normal Lehman Russ is. I think it's probably 35 mm. Um So there we go. That's the kits that are coming out next week. Hopefully I'm going to get uh, this. Not sure about the rest of it yet, um, whether I want that to be part of my army or not. Quid. Probably just be getting him and the Goliath trucks, mm -hmm. to be honest. Because I've got plenty of Imperial Guard and there's plenty of parts left on the sprues uh, that I've found. So if I make some of these, I might just make them up from the parts left over. Yeah. And some of my old guard models. Because I never really use the Cadians, unfortunately. <laughs> so they could be easily butchered into this. In, into. Uh... But I, I might, <laughs> might fuck it. Just, yeah. just see what the new sprues like, maybe. Maybe. Don't quote me. So you got the Gene Stealer. Got the codex. codex, I said tomorrow. We're also getting the uh, painting, guys. Stay we are. tuned for that. Uh, we'll be doing that. The cards. And I did also say previously, if people want to see the Death Watch one, a couple of requests have been for Death Watch painting, guys. I haven't done it yet, but I will be doing it. So stay tuned for that too. So moving along, we have the Stonecast Eternal Questor. Mm. It's a model of the month. There we go. That's a pretty coolly painted model, actually. Yeah, like they've that. painted his face in black, haven't they? Like a dark yeah. colour. Yeah. That really works. Cool. Interesting. And we have, oh, <laughs> Forge World. Forge World, there uh, we've got up in the corner the new uh, Iron Dwarves. Or the yeah, Iron Hill Dane Dwarves. Iron Foot. Dane Iron Foot from obviously The Hobbit, the third Hobbit. Not the best of the Hobbit films, obviously, but still it was worth watching. New texture paints. We have Billy Connolly on board, basically. And new texture paints, yes, on in bigger pots. Is there any different ones? Are they all the same? I think they're all the same. There's nothing new. But they're all in bigger pots. Uh -huh. Which is great. It's fine. Um, it's the Warhammer. Warhammer comic. 40,000 comics, which we'll have a look at at the end, as I said. 
So that's just about the free comic that we get mm -hmm. with this. A Gene Steel Occult Dice. Gene Steel Occult Dice. This is just sort of advertising the dice, which are really hard to get hold of apparently. Yeah. So we've gone out of stock. <laughs> but they are purple, so there we go. Ah. Ah, do you like purple dice? Primarchs. Mr. Uh, Killerman. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on in Black Library. Got Lehman Rust at the top. Alan Blame Blade and Shadow Sword, that's coming out. So more goodness in Black Library. We have the Sons of Sanguinius um, in stores now. Well, yeah. And with the Blood Angels upgrade sprue, which mm -hmm. is low. Uh, we've also got Hero Arcane cards. Arcane Heroes. Which we, we are picking them up as well. We so are. We'll, I'll probably do a video on them mm -hmm. after we've done the GC ones. Haven't we? We've not managed to get a box set of them, but we might do eventually. We might do. We've got the thing of we did our own unboxing of Heroes, and the sorceress, the Star Priest, were in that. Yeah. I've already got. That, that, the Chaos that Sorcerer, we don't have a don't these, have these two, two models, so it's whether it's worth getting it for just for two models and three models you've already got, which can do different paint schemes mm. on, use them in Age of Sigma if you want. Um, but we will be getting the cards. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, it's very Blood Angel Yeah, I like based. it. I like it a lot. These are the new Blood Angel kits, so this is obviously an in, in-game in advertisement. For... What about World Eaters? What about them? Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. No, the Blood Angels. Yeah, okay. We don't need any more World Eaters. We've got loads of box sets of World Eaters. And there's the whole one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Yeah, mm. Moving on. <laughs> letters from ah, so people. People's letters. So we'll not, we'll not dwell on these ones. So if you want to read these, get the book. Uh, okay. uh, Awakenings and Revelations. Revelations. Oh, that's sisters. No, it's a... Is it an Inquisitor? It's an Inquisitor. Cool. Nice drawings though. Mmm. Very cool. Well, this <clears> must <throat> just be about the comics, Titan yeah. comics and stuff. So obviously they're doing a series of comics. We've got the Zero edition free. Yeah. So they're obviously advertising the coming comics. Some bloke called Lehman Ross. Lehman Ross. Never heard of him. No. Another bloke called Rabute Gilliman. Never heard of him either. Where's Vulcan? I've heard of Korax. Oh, Korax, yeah. Yeah. The Korax, no Koraxes. That's it. More of the uh, Beast Within, is it? Beast Within, all or no? Mm hmm. Shadow Wolf, um, Shadow Sword, and. A new audio, Fox Tenebris. Space Wolf and Dark Angel Forces. Interesting. Ah, cool. cool. We've got a nice. Smog! So we've got Smug. Smug. <laughs> Smug the Dragon. Um, <laughs> He's probably told all Benedict his... Cumber Smug. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> actually my favourite bit of the whole film. I don't know why I'm taking the Michael out of it. No. Uh, yeah, Smog's ace in the film. Yeah. Um, it takes a long time to get to and then he's not in it enough, really. He's probably um, told all his mates in uh, Skyrim. This is the excellent but expensive model they brought out last year. Yeah. The year I can't remember. Yeah, the last year or the year before. I can't remember. But... There was the, the I think someone got one in Preston and took it into the store, did, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. It was a very impressive model, but very, very expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, definitely a collector's piece. Mm. Uh, we didn't get one. No. <laughs> Too expensive. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Oh, there's just a bit More better. smug. More smug. And some close-ups of The Hobbit. That's uh, quite good. Martin Freeman. And um, some gold. Mm-hmm. And there Benedict Cumbersmug. Cumbersmug. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to be called. Very calm Cumbersmug. Bombs. <laughs> Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange Benedict Cumbersmug. He's going to be in um, Infinity Wars moving away from this, apparently. All right. Yeah. Not, not to digress at all. Not to digress at all. Sorry there's, about that. It, there's something you've got to get in Space Wolves because every time I see Space Wolves, you just ignore them. I like Space Wolves. <laughs> Who are they? They're the Ultramarines. Um, sorry, oh. moving on. Moving on. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm not. Uh, cool. These are very cool models, obviously. Yeah. I don't mind space models. Army of the actually. Month. Army of the Month. I would love some of these models to make a kill team out of. Yes, the, you know, like the ones four. on wolves. Yeah. I don't mind space wolves, actually. I think they're quite. Um... You keep mocking Lehman Rust or stuff. But... Hey. See? See people? <laughs> Evidence. <laughs> Evidence. It's because they're one of my armies. Yeah. And um, Space Wolf, Space Marines. Marines. Yep, more on that. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, the nice picture of a long red. Mm -hmm. Long crusader of the month. <laughs> Why out of the month? I got one of them, didn't I? Yeah. Wolf of the month. <laughs> the Gothic and the Alfric. Mm -hmm. So we've got some nice drawings here. We've got the John John Blanche, John Blanche going on. A very cool model. I've always liked the escape model going upstairs. Yeah. It's really basic, actually. Um, the White Dwarf interview. We have some things on the Elder. Aspect Warriors. Poor Aspect Warriors. <laughs> I don't know what's coming to without a web gun. Um, Typhus. Typhus. Uh, Abaddon. Fabius. Fabius Bile and Araman. Araman. Chaos yeah. Space Marine, some of the most famous ones. Obviously, no need to put Khan in though. <laughs> oh, they're Lucius. They're both yours, so that's. <laughs> Technically, yeah. he is as well. Bile is. is, is yeah, he's uh, Emperor's children. Yeah. Maybe Khan was on holiday at the time, and so was Lucius. Lucius wouldn't pause for a picture anyway. No, he wouldn't. Too busy putting his makeup on. <laughs> uh, White Wolf interview. Uh, mm -hmm. Imperial Knights. Very cool knights, though. Yeah. Again, there's quite a lot to read. This is one of the things I like about this, because you can keep going back to the White Dwarves. Nice effort. We were having a discussion in, in, in the store, actually, about uh, the old White Dwarfs, the, month, the, the, the weekly ones that we're doing. Yeah. You pick them up, you look at them once, put them down, and unless you were referring to the painting guys, you'd never look at them again. Well, ours have gone upstairs in a box. Yeah. Okay, we pull one out for a painting guy occasionally, that's about it. Mm. Whereas the old white dwarves, and these ones, I've, I kept picking it up and reading bits, and then yeah. reading part. It just feels like I'm getting more for my money. Well, especially since we got two for the model last yeah. time, I've been picking it up and just having a, a flip through every now and yeah. then. Read her own copies, we'll share this one. Yeah, we will, so they'll be yeah. fighting about this one. Uh, oh, cool. That's what is that? Um, Bridget Kazakh Doom. Balrog. Oh, that's cool. Why that? Oh, that's like a temporal. Yeah, it's looking yeah, back. Yeah, so it's looking at, back. Uh, I, rem I'm so I remember that. that. I remember that white dwarf, I'm right. sure I do. I've got it upstairs. <laughs> no, I remember picking it up because I got you the Balrog before I went on yes. holiday. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I was on parade. Ooh. Skaven. Good work, people. Want to see more Skaven? Um, orange. Is it an orange? Orange colour? Skaven. Sort mm. of red, scary colour. The best colour. Best clan. Um, Sky. Well, it's got about orange bits here. It's how they've uh, painted it. Cool. So it gives you an idea. But it's a little more rusty, I think. Mm. It does, does work quite well. And painting stone as well. I mm. like that. Giving tips on how they've done it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Mm -hmm. Again, I need to rebase my skin. Whoa. I'm, I'm collecting plenty of bases. Right, so we have the Health like dread Forge hole kind falling of thing. over with a sorcerer on top. That's pretty cool. That Doing is cool. Yeah. Time. That works. Um, you'll see us put some of this stuff together at Halloween as well, by the way. <laughs> Just advertising our Halloween video. Yeah. Let's move that down so people can see that properly. Uh, you can see they've done some work there, making it like the towers either being put together or falling apart. That looks pretty cool, I like that. Yeah. It's really clever. We have Tau. Tau? Tau? No, it's... Elder. Elder. Why did Elder, I say Tau? Elder and Tau course. That is Elder. Yeah, I don't know why I said Tau. Tau. <laughs> you just you just start collecting Tau on right? You can't yeah. tell us from Tau and Elder. I know, I've got, got Tau on the brain. That's terrifying. But these are ghost warriors, lots of ghost warriors. A lot like the Amden, which is excellent. Mm. Paid very well, actually. I like those colours. Different colours, isn't it? I like the blue. Hmm. That's interesting. Mm. And plus they've mirrored that in the uh, stones in the trees. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. Um, oh cool, this is one we saw in the front cover. So Skitari. this is Skitari, yeah. Skitari with some defences, and we've got the cool Arbus Londra at the top. It's got Tarox down here. Yeah. That's Doesn't cool. it look a little bit like the um, pictures of the Tyranids we've seen in the yellow armour? The Gene Steel, you mean? Gene Steelers, yeah. Yeah, very similar. Obviously, this guy's been painting this for a long time. Oh, yeah. So. Vazian Cavalcade. 
So I presume it's like Imperial Guard and Skatari allies. Looks like it. Looks like it's oh. Riser as well. Not in, well, it could be Guard. It looks good anyway. Mm. I like it. Very much. I couldn't really pick a favourite out of those ones. No, they're, they're all really good in their own way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, start collecting armies. Uh, not that I haven't gone on commission or anything. I wish I was on commission in Games Workshop, that'd be great. But these are really good, it's the ones that we've bought so far. They are actually. The yeah. um, Which one did I get? The Sylvanath. And I got the Angels. There they are, cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to do. We're in the middle of doing the uh, Tale of Two Gamers. Yes. Mine are painted and ready to go because I'm nearly finishing hers off. I'm just uh, polishing off be, my dry outs. We'll be playing a series of games, see who's the best, then we'll be escalating it. Mm -hmm. And then we might do some 40k ones. I'm sort of focusing maybe around the Eldar. Maybe. Well, why don't you try Tempestus? You get a Torx with it. Try to sell Tempestus to me. Stop it. Keep Torx. doing it. It's Katara. Torx. It's Katara. Oh. Eldar. Damn it. <laughs> right. Gene Steel, Steel Occults. Occults. That's where it's at. This, yeah. is, this is excitement. Look at all those trucks. The Curse and the Kiss. Curse and the Kiss. I beg your pardon. It's a novel written by the Gene Steel Patriarch. He, what he did was to sort of like get people lured into a sense of uh, false security. Yeah. He would set himself up as a romance writer. Right. And a bit like Romance and Stone, it's the curse and the kiss. Oh right, okay. So you'll you'll have I, I just thought it, it was a really What's the name Jean Jean Wilder or Jane Wilder or something? Yeah. I just thought <laughs> it was Kurt Russell. Looking for this <laughs> Sorry. No, seriously, it's it's about the curse of um becoming a genius still like, right. through the kiss. As in the tongue that the it's like the French kiss you basically and then right. you you have the uh, parasites inside you. I just thought it was a really bad Mills and Boone. Yeah. Uh, book or something. It's, yeah. it's possible the Patriots just writing really bad fiction, uh, romance fiction, but there we go. But I, I think it's actually the, what they call when you're actually attacked by a genius dealer. And they. Dragged off and not actually eaten. Ah. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Oh, like the aliens doing aliens, really. Yeah. But it's a lot more convoluted than what right. the aliens doing aliens. Right. The aliens, aliens keep it simple. Yeah, these just don't. Generally, they don't kill the hosts or the gene stealers. They just kind of use them. Mm. So you, you, you're not going to have anything bursting out of your stomach, kind of thing. Well, no, your stomach Yet. anyway. No. Um, Maybe extra carry... arms or something. <laughs> carry on. Um, That's cool. Regiment Standard. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. <laughs> that's brilliant. Is this, is this the Imperial Guide and what to look out for? Yeah. Um, Required re Hail re loyal, guard loyal Guardsmen. Follow in last week's. Informational about combating the gene stealer menace, it has come to our attention. Many of you are unable to identify the different strains of these creatures. To prevent the future failures of GC, we have compiled a detailed and comprehensive guide to the various stages of the gene stealer infestation cult. I'm surprised that the That's brilliant. The Imperium so forth coming normally they just have a picture of a really weedy looking gene stealer and go, This is the enemy. It is easily defeated by a wet sock. <laughs> wet sock. <laughs> That's normally what they tell the guardsmen, oh. then they go out and get slaughtered. <laughs> well, I suppose I could try and defeat a gene stealer with my smelly, sweaty sock. That might actually that, work. That yeah, would that work. could work. Yeah. Believe me, folks, it could. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the way they've done that. That's pretty funky. Like a regimental poster, you might say. Yeah. That would make a great poster, actually. Yeah. For the wall. The Imperium needs you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of stuff. Some more on the Gene Stillers. Mm. That's cool how they've done that. Mark Ascendant. I've actually painted the, the, that. Yeah, the it looks like they sprayed it. it. Yeah, yeah, I think they've used a template yeah. to spread that. That's clever, though. That would be really good for scenery. So if you make a small template and spray it onto the models. Yeah. It would look really good on the vehicles. Yeah. Especially on um, the aberrants as well. Mm. If you made, if you like got tattoos. a yeah, if you got a small one, you could just paint it on. Just on the back of the shoulder or something. Mm. Um, yeah, cool. The Insidious Curse. This is quite good. It shows you all the new weapons. Um, so if you haven't seen any of this, I'll just go through them. You've got the seismic cannon, you've got the rock drill, you've got the rock saw, you've got heavy stuff, which is new, but um, you've got the rock cutters as well. Weber, mm -hmm. best weapon ever. Uh, <laughs> it's not really. It's just something that melted onto my favourite. 
but Webber's really cool. Also guns, which you'll have seen before, as well as odds pistols though. Flamers, which you'll have seen before. Shotguns, the shotguns look really good on the sprue, you'll see that if you watch a video. Uh, power hammer and uh, web pistol mm -hmm. and flamer. Alt pistol, needle pistol, uh, mining laser. Um, and then we just have demo charges, and then we have the bone sword there and the power pick. So it's very good if you want to, if you don't know what the weapons are, because we've got some new ones. Mm -hmm. If you're new to the hobby, you may not know what a heavy stubber looks like, if you know, and some of the weapons are very necromunderish. So it's, it's quite a good guide that actually. Mm -hmm. Show you what kind of weapons you're going to be facing if you're facing them or putting on them if you're going to be building them. Carrying on. Oh, Battleground Spotlight. Cagillion 9. Oh, so that's cool. The, that's See the more top. of this on page 82. Right. That looks interesting. That's the top. Yeah, that's the top. That's the top of the Goliath. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. There's plenty of room on it. It's not an open top vehicle, though, surprisingly. Really? Um, no. You not. can see all the guys and it's open. Well, apparently they're inside. Oh, right, uh, okay. Apparently there's room in there for an entire squad. Yeah. Which maybe there is. But some guys are on the outside, so. Alright, fair enough. Yeah. Th those are the. Uh... The, the diehards, the yeah, ones the die that are just like, I won't die today. I'm not going to die today, Splat. No. <laughs> the Brood Coven Speaks. It's kind of worrying. Phil yep. Kelly and Simon Grant. Codex yes. Spot, Genius of the Cults. Yeah, yes. you'll, if you want to see more of that, you can watch our video on it. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Hunter and the Hunter. Exclusive mission. Exclusive mission. Awesome. What's this? The insurrection has begun. Under the cover of darkness, Genius of the Cults prepared the deadly trap and are even now lying in wait for a convoy of enemy troops that were sent to seek out and destroy the cult. The GCO cults hope to catch their foes unaware and slaughter them before they can rally either and either escape or mount a retaliatory counter-strike. So, the mission is designed to represent a ground force fighting their way through an ambush. To preserve this, we recommend none of the defenders' units start the game in back, say flying transports, any of the units must start the game in deep strike reserve, such as drop pods cannot attempt to deep strike in the Genius Still Cults play half of the table. The game could be over disappointingly quickly otherwise. And Battlefield uses deployment map included with the mission. So you're basically surrounded. Uh, apart from this table edge you've got mm -hmm. there. Um, and Genius Still Cults first, game one that's variable, victory conditions, at the end of the game, the player who scored the most victory points. Wins both players of the same number of points in the game to draw. Primary objectives. Um, defender must attempt to escape the ambush, while the GCO Cult must prevent them from doing so. In the game, none of the defender's units have escaped the ambush. The GCO Cult player earns D3 plus 3 victory points. The defender receives a number of victory points, depending on how many of their units escape the battlefield, as below. So number of units, 1, 1, and all the way up to 5, where it's D6 plus 6. And then you've got secondary objectives and designers notes. Um, so that's pretty cool. That might be a good one to get yeah, into Yeah, we'll have to have a go at that one. Good. We've got to build up with some kill team missions and then mm. we might play some bigger ones. I'll well, think about that. Yeah. If you want to see it, put it in the comments. We'll see if we get time to do it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Funky. This looks like this is one of those open, oh. open notes. Alright, so this wow. is... Really, yeah. We're not going to fit all this on the camera, unfortunately. No. But... If you want to see it in, in its glory, then uh, I'll have to buy the book, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But it's Death Watch versus GC the Colts. Yeah, so you've got Strike Force Ephron, is it? Ferron? Strike Force Ferron. Ferron and the Cult of the Rusted Claw. The Rusted Claw. Rusted Claw. Cool. Well, we're a very cool looking battlefield. Yeah. Sweet. And Slay the Alien and Set the Trap. So, so we have the battle itself by the looks of it. So you can see that's really the small picture of it though. What it actually looks like. And then we've got this bit down the front with just ruins and pipes. That is a really cool setup. That is actually. Mm. Wow. <laughs> well we had the room to store something like that, that'd be amazing. <laughs> um there we go. That'd be very cool to play on. I bet they've got that at Warhammer World by now. I bet they have, yeah. yeah. And so we've got a battle report, we're not going to spoil it by telling you about it, and I want to read it myself anyway. So we'll just skip through this. Mm -hmm. But it, it looks cool. We don't we don't want to show the result either, really. So. Is that it? 
Bottom floor, still showing results. Yeah, that was a result. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, <clears throat> close your eyes. I should have said that first. Illuminations, champions. Championies. And, um, Alarial. Alarial, though. Mm hmm. She's a cool model, actually, Alarial. Yeah, you want to get that model, yeah. don't you? Oh, that's. Is that. You want to get that model as well, don't you? Yeah, Archeon. So, Treads. Treads, cool. These are just pictures, aren't they? Like, They're very cool like drawings, though. Very hey, cool. Yay! They're very, very cool drawings, and obviously. Me in the king. morning. Pot king. <laughs> oh, it's so, so good, that scheme. Oh, that's an actual. One of my favourite models as well. It's pretty cool, actually. I love the way you've done that on a C based. Oh, brilliant. What? A little cute. Yeah, yeah. Nibbling. It's awesome. Uh, fire, Very nice. The fire sorceress. Yeah. Using the dark elf sorceress as a base by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. And obviously the um, slaughter priest. Slaughter priest. They've added that on the, from the um, cool. box set, isn't it? It's um, funky. Dark hut. Dark hut. The chieftain. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't let myself. Dark hut. Okay. The chieftain. What well, am a digital? A tale of four warlords. Tale of four warlords. <laughs> so we've got here dryads. Yep. So I want some of them. Yeah. On them. So they've basically done what I want to do. Yeah, they've expanded the floss into yeah. what they want to do. Bosses of chaos. They still look cool. They do actually. Forces of death. Yeah, what's he got? Ghouls this time. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And forces of destruction. What's he going for? Orcs. So orcs. Brutes. He's gone for brutes. I want some brutes and I want mm. the war boss, I think, for my next. Oh, sprues it's and glues. So we've got the conversions basically. So this is the sprue that you'll get with those guardsmen uh, box sets that we saw before. And the rest is just standard guard. Mm -hmm. No, um, just telling you to clean stuff up there, really. And hammer of the Emperor Compromise. So they're cutting off the eagle, which is something I was thinking of doing anyway. When I was, I've just been painting some canyons yeah. and I was thinking of cutting the eagle off them, um, converting some, so that's pretty cool. Goliath truck. I like the fact you got a banner there. I wonder if they've just got that from the hybrid set, it's not on the. No, you don't get a banner on the spring, no. unfortunately. So I bet they have done, but they. Yeah. Spider stick. And the Goliath there, it's all its glory. Paint splatter. Paint splatter, set the paint system. Shades. So doing red basically. Doing black and Painting highlighting. black, extreme highlights. Yeah, that's the kind of kind of thing I've been doing with um, my Death Guard, angels. Death Company and Death Watch. Yep. Raven Guard, even. <laughs> Not Death Guard. So. Or black. Painting faces. Oh, oh there we go, the rusted floor. I think they're also in the painting guide. That's interesting. Oh, it's been wired up. Oh, cool. Yeah. So we're going to give you some ideas. Yeah, so we're going to get the painting guys. So if you want to see more of stuff like this for the Genie Steelers, stay tuned mm -hmm. for that. Heavy Metal Masterclass. Heavy Metal Masterclasses. That's oh, cool. Yeah. Detail on Giant's face is excellent. That's good. It's how to paint oh, yeah. flesh. That's good tips though. Mm. Wow. Well. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a look. This. Yeah, that's, that's a really good guide actually, yeah. it's really in depth. Oh, Blanchism. Some very cool models, I always like these models. The conversions are excellent, it does. And then we have um, the Stonecast. Stonecast you were admiring at the beginning. They have a nice colour, I must admit. Yeah. Very different. Blue and gold. Mm. Still like the red. Yeah, I like the ones you've been red. That, that's nice, that blue. It's really nice. Mm. It's got a nice blue there, a nice mm. colour of blue. So I've got readers' models. It's got dwarves. Mm. And grey knights. And Thormy, the, the, Thormy, the Thormy one that sounds like a condition. Yeah. Um, red knot. Blue. Oh. Um, War Crusher, that's yeah. what I was looking for. And the Riptide, that Riptide is awesome. Look at it the is. lighting effects on that. Wow. Sweet. Mm. Oh, there's the Imperial Space Moon miniature. 
Girls first room is that in um it's in yellow Pearl fists. Pearl fists, yeah. Cool. And we've got some. some. And uh that's what we got there. That's cool. That kind of stands out a lot. I'll just hide that one from you because you'll get upset. I'll get upset because I've not painted Vulcan yet. <laughs> Still not happy with the colour of green I've got for Salamanders. I might paint them the same colour as my Cadmus. Because I've, I said I was painting some um, other models in that colour and it really works. Is that Old oh, Dark, Dark Angels? Angels yeah. Um, that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Like this. That's cool. That I thought, yeah. Oh, and there's one of the nights that I want as well. Ah, oh, just above Vulcan. Just, just, just to rub it in. Yeah. Thanks. Vulcan. You rubbed it in there. Vulcan. Vulcan. Move on. <laughs> wow. Did we miss that picture of Vulcan? Moving on. Um, <laughs> Warhammer World, yeah. We've we've yet to go to the new Warhammer World. We need to go. We might go there soon. Who knows? Ho hopefully, yeah. Who knows? White Dwarf Guide. Yep, Golden Demon and system. Paint System. Mm. Citadel Paint System. So I presume we can download that now then, because there's a website. Like there's a website there, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. That's cool. Advertising Warhammer TV. Yeah, well. which is good. Yeah, yeah, very good I've actually. Seen quite a lot of that. It's mm. very good tips on them. Some I already need, but uh, there's some very good tips. In the bunker, In the bunker that looks like Silver playing, Tower. Um, Silver Tower. Mm -hmm. With the Necromancer. He's a very cool model, by the way. There's two skeletons that come with him. <laughs> and that's my favourite. The Cogsmith. Mm. Oh, he's awesome. Steampunk Dwarves. The best. Um, so there we go. Is that the, is that that's it? it, yeah. Yeah, so there we go. So if you enjoyed this, uh, we'll be doing next month as well. Yeah. Uh, see how, what people think of us reviewing White Dwarf. Uh, but we'll move on to the free comic book. We'll have a quick look at this, see what it's about. Will of Iron. Not going to root too much by spending too long on it. Also, it gives you the the prologue as, as to who's who. Interesting. So this woman that this we saw woman. is uh, Sabathel. She's an inquisitor. We're right. Mm -hmm. She is relentless in the pursuit of her goals. To that extent she often engages in questionable methods to get the truth. Three acolytes and a Jacaro weaponsmith assist her in her quest to root out heresy and chaos wherever they may be found. Wherever the trail leads. She sounds interesting. Mm. Tell me what you see. She looks a bit like it's Janeway. Quite, quite a nice artwork, actually. Do you not think she looks like Janeway? She's got a lot of appearance. Cool. I like the artwork, I like the mm. art style, actually. Um, that's the first thing I've seen. Dark Angels, obviously. I don't want to dwell too long, I don't want to spoil the story for anyone. I do want to read this myself. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the artwork, really. That's nice, I like the way they've done that with the, yeah. the sword. There she is again. Cool. So she's doing a Harlequin now. <laughs> and Will of Iron, writer. So this is an advert for the Will of Iron prologue. Mm -hmm. Part one of four. So there's going to be four of them. Yeah, that could be cool worth getting actually. Mm. I'd say I'm impressed by the artwork. So I'm going to read the story and decide. Anatomy of a cover. Cover. So that's how they've drawn it up. Yeah, that's quite good having that in the back. Script excerpts, so just some Scripting excerpts panels. in there, panels. Give you some idea how it's going to work. So it's just basically a prologue and then a little bit of how they've done the comics. Mm. Which is quite interesting. And they've coloured it in and everything. That's, yeah. that's pretty cool. It's quite interesting. I'll read that and say whether oh. I want to get. They obviously haven't done cover F yet. No. Um, yeah, that could be interesting, actually. So there we go. That was uh, This Month's White Dwarf, mm -hmm. October 2016. Very good again, I think, actually. That's my opinion. Definitely, yeah. I hope we keep this up. There's a lot in there to read that I want to go back and read now. And take me a while to get through it. And again, I think I'll be picking this up mm. all the time. So. Uh, oh, definitely. There's yeah. a lot of reading material in there. Like you say, you keep going back to it. Yeah. And I think the painting guides as well are a bit more that expanded. That face painting guide in there is excellent. Yeah. I, I want to go back and have a good look at that. It's nice to give a, a nod to people's letters and 
um, the Armies on Parade and people's painting Yes, that's very um, good. Models, one. painted models and I stuff. I mean, there was always a bit of that in the old ones as well. Not as much I don't as think this. To that extent. I think they only had like one person. They had like a one, one a week. Yeah. But that's good. Yeah, so there we go. So that is Wired Dwarf. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, we will be doing next month as well because I've already seen a preview of ne next month's on Bell of Lost Souls. So, not to give them any advertising or anything. Uh, I don't, I'm not on commission from anybody. So, um, yeah. Uh, Looks like we're going to be getting some horse heresy stuff. Ooh. Yes, in November. Well, be us. No, Thousand Suns and Space Wolves. Imperial Custodes. Well, be us. No. It's the Battle for Prospero. Prospero ah. burns. Were they not there, the World Eaters? No, they're not there. No. Emperor's Children. We're going to be at this all night, people. <laughs> so, uh,. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you again next time. We'll see you soon. Take care guys. Thanks. Bye.